guys, I'm Ethel Wilson and I'm here with David Ackelbury and Ben Brooks from Lionhead Studios and we're here to talk about Fable Legends. Guys, how are you doing? Great, thanks for having us. So, first things first, you're showing off a brand new hero here at Gamescom 2014. Can you tell us a little bit more about them? Absolutely. Glory is uh, our brand new hero, as you say. She's playable here at Gamescom. She's uh, a will user. We've shown people will users before, but no one like Glory. I think people who have played previous Fable games know that heroes, while heroic, are not always good necessarily. I don't think Glory's evil, but she's a very powerful will user and she knows it and uses that to her advantage. Awesome. So we've actually got a five player playthrough going on at the moment and obviously the, the villain controls the forces of darkness, but how much does their gameplay actually vary from that of the heroes? really incredibly different. You know, in Fable Legends, we've made it as different as you can possibly imagine it, really. As the villain, you have this top-down view where you're looking down on the world below as an evil god. And there, you know, you're controlling not one creature or one hero, but a whole army of creatures that you use to defeat any of the heroes that come against us. So will the villain have different class types? Not exactly class types. I guess you could say that the villain is his army and all of his tools. And every time you go into a quest, you'll have different creatures that you can use. But as you level up your villain, you become even more villainous, you know, the super arch villain of you version, you'll level up your creatures. And every one of those creatures can get better and stronger. And as they do that, you can choose to unlock these creatures and bring creatures that don't even really belong. So like, you've got this quest all about outlaws, but you've earned the loyalty of the ogre. So now you've got an ogre showing up in the middle of an outlaw quest because you have grown to become this ultra powerful villain. So you've got another sort of new character that you're showing off here as well. Tell us, who is Shroud? So Shroud is a member of a top secret shadowy order of assassins. He's out to become one of the most powerful hitmen in Albion. But he's kind of realized a problem. If you're a top secret assassin, nobody knows who you are. And if nobody knows who you are, where's the fun? He needs to kill them in a particularly showy and exciting way. He's got all these traps and techniques that he uses. He can go invisible and disappear, but he doesn't stay invisible for long. Soon after that, he'll be appearing with these incredibly cool electric shock arrows and appearing with these multi-shot things where he ricochets his arrows around the map to make multiple headshots on as many enemies as possible to kill them. Such a show-off. He is very much a show-off. You'll love him. <laughs> I cannot wait. David, when can we get our hands on the beta? The first round of the beta invites for Fable Legends go out October 16th, 2014. After that, we'll continue to launch more rounds in the coming weeks and months. If you haven't signed up yet, make sure you visit FableLegends.com and sign up. Mm -hmm. Go do that. Guys, thank you so much. Cannot wait to play it. I am definitely playing as Glory. She is my kind of girl. That's all for now, but keep checking back throughout the week for more exclusive content from Gamescom. We'll see you later.